Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel today. I'm going to be sharing with you all everything that I've recently picked up from the drugstore. It has been a hot minute since I did a haul on my channel and I'm so excited. I haven't bought makeup in a really long time. Also, you guys like the hat? trying something new. I actually just got back from the drugstore so I was wearing this hat and I came home and threw on some makeup so that is why I'm wearing this plus I didn't feel like doing my hair as always. Uh, so let's just go ahead and get into the haul. First place that I went and picked up a whole bunch of stuff is Walgreens. So the first thing in this bag is the Kiss. This is the Strip Lash Adhesive. It says it's new and it has aloe in it. It's just a clear one. And I thought this would be really good for my eyelashes because the last time that I actually wore eyelashes, I just used my regular Revlon Lash Adhesive and it got like all clumpy in my lashes and actually I had to like pull some out to even get it off of my eyeballs, which was not good. So I just wanted to try out some something new and I've heard that this Kiss lash adhesive is really good for the drugstore so I bought it. Also I didn't do a Sephora VIB sale because I haven't been shopping at Sephora a lot lately since I got my new job I haven't been making as much money as I was before so I don't want to go broke. <laughs> That's why I haven't had any Sephora high-end hauls on my channel recently. I've just been trying to save up my money so that I could do a huge new at the drugstore haul because there's been a lot of new stuff that I've been really wanting to try from the drugstore. So that's what this video is all about. I will hopefully be doing one later on during the year because... I do work as a Clinique consultant, so I'll be making more money during the holiday season, which I know they do it twice a year, but I will be making more money over the holidays, getting more hours, all that stuff, so I should be doing one then, but not this time, so let's just continue with this haul. So the next thing I have here is this Wet n Wild Get This Skinny. This is a mascara. I thought that this would be really good for a bottom lash mascara because as you can see it has a very small tip or brush head I guess you would call it and I just thought it would be really nice. It says perfect for lower lash line. I didn't even see that on here but it's just in black and I'm really excited to try it because Wet n Wild has some great products and I've never tried their mascaras before so plus that was on sale. So the next thing I have here is this Wet n Wired <laughs> Wet n Wired Wet n Wild Eau Natural palette. This is in Nude Awakening and I just thought these colors were really pretty. Let me open it so I can swatch it for you guys. So this is the palette up close. I'm really intrigued by this color. I think I'm gonna swatch it. Mm, they're looking a little patchy, but you never know with these kind of shadows. They're still looking a little bit patchy for a drugstore. For a drugstore palette though, this looks pretty nice. Other than this little guy right here, we're just gonna throw that away. But other than that, these colors look really pretty. I'm really excited to play with this more. The next two things that I have from Walgreens are lashes. I picked up the Cosmetics London Ilor slash Nicole Guerrero Casually Glamorous Lashes. I thought these looked so so stinking pretty and they're just very nice and wispy. The lash band does look a little bit thick but I think with eyeliner which is usually you know I use eyeliner with most of my lashes so these would be really nice for a dramatic look. And then I also picked up the Eyelore Nikki Philippi and Midnight Meow lashes. These also look so pretty and they're supposed to lengthen and they do have a smaller lash band so I'm thinking these will be for more of a natural look so I'm really excited about those. Oh, I also have one more pair of lashes. I picked up the Ardell Foam Mink Luxurious Lightweight Invisiband. And these are supposed to be new. I've really, 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 really been wanting to try these because everyone talks about how great they are. They don't really say a style, but they just look like this. And they're kind of 
smaller on the inside than they are on the outside and I thought that they would be really pretty for a nice natural look or like a summertime look. I could definitely see something very bronzy and like a bronze goddess tutorial with these. I think that would be really gorgeous. The next thing that I picked up is this Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation. I got it in the color Soft Beige. It's just supposed to be a liquid mousse foundation. Hopefully this uh, matches my skin tone. I got a shade a little dark just because I've been getting really tan lately. I've been going to the beach a lot. If you follow me on Twitter, which if you don't, I'll have it right here. You should go follow me. Seeing this a lot just like on the advertisements and stuff and I really like uh, Rimmel London's foundations so I thought I'd give it a whirl. It sounded pretty nice. Stay matte. I like matte foundations because I am combo oily skin so we'll see how this goes. Okay, the next thing that I have is also by Rimmel London. I just want to say that most of Rimmel and Wet n Wild's brands from this Walgreens was 40% off so that's why I stocked up on a lot of this stuff. I got the Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation powder and this is in 011 creamy natural I thought that this really good I have tried this before I started my YouTube channel and I remember that I really really liked it and I don't know why I didn't repurchase it but I remember using it a lot back when I was in high school so I just wanted to test it out and see if I still love it so that's great and then I decided to try the Rimmel London Natural Bronzer. It says it's a waterproof bronzing powder. I just thought the color looked really pretty. It's in 022 Sun Bronze. And I thought that this would be nice for the summer because it doesn't look like it has very much shimmer in it. It looks like a really matte bronzer. It does look a little bit orange, but sometimes you just want a little orange during the summertime so pick that up just wanted to try it out okay, the next two things i got one of the remel stay glossy and this is in the color non-stop glamour and it's just a really gold shimmery lip gloss and i thought this would be perfect as like a lip gloss topper because that's been a trend lately to have a really shiny gloss topper so i really wanted to try it out and see how these would be because i really do like remmel's basically all of their formulas for makeup and they're really affordable so i just thought i'd give that a try like that one i also got the stay glossy 3d which i'm not sure if there's a different it says up to six hours shine in a 3d effect lip gloss this is another is this is another just shimmery lip gloss that i thought would be good for a lip gloss topper it's in a really pretty like champagne -y pink color and i just thought it'd be really nice the only difference is this one says that it lasts up to six hours and that one doesn't so not really sure about that but they were in the same section so i just picked them up two things that I got are by Wet n Wild. They are more of the liquid cat suits. This one is in the shade Nudie Patootie. This is the lightest shade in the whole collection and I really wanted to try it out because it looks really really pretty. And then the other shade that I got is actually Coral Corruption. And it's also very, very pretty. I thought that these reminded me of the Manny MUA and Jeffree Star collabs. Like the shades do. Not exactly, but kind of. So whenever I held them up together, I was like, I have to get these. Plus, Wet n Wild is really affordable. So why not? Stay trendy. The last thing that I got at Walgreens was this CoverGirl Katie Cat Pearl. This is an eyeshadow plus highlighter. It's just a liquid and it looked really really pretty and it was on sale oh, looks like someone dipped their finger in it I'm gonna have to sanitize this but yeah that's just what it looks like it's a nice pretty gold color it's a very gel like formula so that's the swatch on my hand right here I don't know if you can see it or not but I don't know we'll play around with this see how it is so far i'm not sure about the formula just because it is kind of stiff i guess like it's a really stiff gel formula so we'll see how that turns out also if you guys haven't noticed i kind of did some alterations to my background let me know what you think of it down below the next place that i went to is rite aid and i 
scored here. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait to show you guys. I went in and the first thing that I saw was the physician's formula display and they had a 40% off sign. But whenever I went back to the physician's formula display, it didn't say anything about anything being 40% off. So whenever I got done shopping, I just took this up to the register and I was like, hey, can you check the price on this? Because it said it was $14.95. And so I explained, you know, that there was a 40% off sign next to it and it was being displayed as 40% off and I just wanted to see if it was or not. So she rings it up, says it's not, and then asks where the sign is and I told her where it was. So they went and pulled it off the display because they said that it wasn't supposed to be 40% off, but they gave it to me for 40% off. So I got this for $8. I was so happy. I came out right in and I was smiling. I was like, yes! Don't you just love like those personal victories? It's like ugh, the best feeling ever. But anyways, this is the Physician's Formula CC Cream Plus and it visibly corrects age spot, dark circles, blemishes, dullness, uneven skin tone, redness, dark shadows, discoloration, fine lines, wrinkles, and signs of signs of fatigue and it is SPF 30 so I thought that this would be really really nice for the beach and it also comes with this nice color corrector and concealer so I'm really excited to try this out I've never tried physicians formulas uh, anything really I haven't ever tried any of their foundations I do have their butter bronzer and it's amazing so I'm really excited to see how this works out um, we have the yellow color correcting and then the light um, is for the concealer sealer so oh yeah that's how this is and i'll keep you updated on how this works out because i'm so excited about it the next thing that i remember is this uh, la colors day to night palette looks like these it looks so pretty there's a lot of interesting colors in this palette like there are some nudes which i love but there's also like two purple shades a blue shade it just looks really versatile there goes the little sponge tip applicator that we're not going to use so there's no mattes in here it's all shimmers which i'm not going to complain about just because this was like a dollar fifty for all of these and they look really really pretty so i'm just gonna swatch like this purple shade right here Ooh, and the blue okay so here are the swatches of the eyeshadows as you can see they're really really pigmented for drugstore shadows and something like la girl that's so affordable these i'm living for i can't wait to play with these i will definitely be including this in a future tutorial so keep a lookout for that okay so the next thing that i got at rite aid is this jesse's girl liner you guys i was really excited to try this because i heard jesse's girl has some really really amazing liners i've been seeing like teal eyeliner everywhere recently and I really wanted to give it a try these say they were new I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna oh oh my gosh you guys I've never tried Jessie's girl liner but look how pigmented that is that is one swatch oh. I'm so shocked right now. That's crazy. Okay, I'm really excited about this. Ah! Thumbs up this video if you guys want to see a tutorial with this because I'm really inspired now. I've been inspired by blue eyes lately. I don't know what it is. They just look really cool. I'm into it. Next thing I got at Rite Aid is just this Wet n Wild. It's a large eyeshadow brush. And I've heard that these brushes are really good and I think it was only like a dollar or something like that something crazy like that so picked it up just thought you know you can never have too many large blending brushes so just give it a try see how it is and then i also from wet n wild got this color icon shadow and this is in the shade groupie it's a gorgeous shimmery pink color it reminds me of the shimmery gold color that i have by them that's really really good so hopefully they are the same so just keep an eye out for a future video on this i'm sure i will do one very very soon because i love this color and the last thing that i got from rite aid was a nail polish this is the sinful colors in the color lilac like li l-i-e slash lac and i've just really been liking this color a lot since it is now spring and i just wanted to paint my nails this color so i picked it up okay and then random little side thing here i just want to show you guys because it's been laying right in front of me this whole video and i think they are adorable oh, little puppies 
I got these socks from Belk the other day just because every single time, if you guys don't know, I work for Belk, every time I walked by these socks, I died. I was like, I have to get these. So I did. They're little dachshunds and they're so cute. I've been dying to wear these ever since I got them. I just had to include them and share with you guys my obsession for dogs. This place I went to is Walmart. The first thing that I'm pulling out of this Walmart bag is this e.l.f. illuminating palette. It says that it is new and it just intrigued me and e.l.f. is a really great brand that I love so I thought I'd give it a shot. Oh this looks pretty you guys. Mm, they're not very luminous at all. They just look like powder. Oh man I was really excited about this. I don't know about it. I'll keep you updated on it, but right now my excitement just dropped for those. Okay. The next thing that I'm pulling out is this Flower Beauty eyeshadow palette. And this is what it looks like. It's really pretty. It actually comes with a really nice brush. Like, look at this brush. I think this would be so nice for blending in the crease. Oh my gosh. So that's like one of the main reasons that I thought that this was worth it. Also, the shades in here are just really pretty. And I'm pretty sure I heard Casey Holmes say that this is a really good palette. So I wanted to give it a shot. And I thought that these colors up here would look good for every day. And then these colors are more dramatic. So I thought they had a really good shade range in here. And I'm really excited to see how this is. Alright, the next thing that I've got is this Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Color Correcting for Dark Circles. I saw it on their Twitter page where this is a Walmart exclusive, so I'm really excited to try this out. I haven't tried too many color correctors. The only one that I've tried is like the next one, and I don't really like that one, so I thought that this one might be better since it is a more creamy formula and it would just set better under the eyes. But yes, I'm excited to try this out. Let me know if you guys want to see a video on all of this, like a first impressions video or something like that, and I would be happy to do that for you. Next thing I've got, I've really been wanting to try it for the last couple of months. Everybody raves about this foundation and I have yet to test it out. So I picked up the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. I have normal to just combination oily skin. I thought that I might enjoy it. I just wanted to try it out and see what all the hype is about. Plus it has SPF 15, so I thought that'd be really nice. And I really wanna do like a glowy, fresh, makeup tutorial look so that is why I went and picked this up. The next thing I got from Walmart is this Wet n Wild color icon. This is one of their ombre blushes and it is in the shade the Princess Daiquiris. I thought that was really cute like strawberry daiquiri. Oh, and this color looks so pretty. But anyways this is what it looks like on the inside. I'll swatch it for you guys. It looks really nice and it feels very, very soft. So yeah, it doesn't look like it has very many much pigment, which I like because I don't like a blush that's gonna make me look like a clown. Then the last thing that I picked up from Walmart is this Wet n Wild Focus Photo Focus Setting Spray. I love the Photo Focus Foundation and I thought that this may be really nice. It looks like it says it lasts all day. So it's just a makeup extender spray. I've really been looking for the Milani setting spray, but I don't know, my drugstores don't carry it for some reason. Just wanted to test this out. I'm always, always, always looking for new setting spray. So if you guys have any more drugstore recommendations, I already have the Maybelline one and I really like it. So just leave me suggestions down in the comments for new drugstore setting sprays. And then the last drugstore that I went to, whew, it's CVS. I got the e.l.f. HD Powder Soft Luminance. And I thought that this looked really, really nice. You guys know I love my other e.l.f. HD Powder. It's one of my favorites. And this is just soft luminance. Like I was saying, I was thinking that this would be really good paired with the L'Oreal Pro Glow for my fresh dewy makeup tutorial that I'm planning out. So that's why I picked that up. I saw this, which I didn't see this in any of the other drugstores that carry Wet n Wild products. It is just a Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Kit. And it looks like it has two different brown shades for your brows. And then it looks like a highlight shade right here. I just saw 
thought that I would pick this up. I've never really tried brow powders before, so I just wanted to kind of see how I would like it. And it comes with a little set of tweezers and a little brush. Okay, I really like the packaging so far, so that's what it looks like. And cool. The last two things that I got from CVS are by Milani. Um, the first thing is this Keep It Sweet Sugar Lip Scrub in the shade Sugar Sweet. I'm pretty sure I heard Kathleen Lights talking about this and saying that it was really, really, really good for your lips and nice and exfoliating. So I wanted to give it a try. I will be testing this out soon and let you guys know what I think of it. The last product for this haul is going to be the Milani Prep Set Go Transparent Face Powder. As you guys see, I've just been really wanting to try out some new face powders, so I picked this up. I heard, I can't remember who talk about this but they said it was really good it made me want to get it it looks pretty promising it looks a lot like the elf powder that i have the translucent one so we'll see if they compare which one i like better and that is going to be it for this haul i hope you guys enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you love hauls and if you want to see a sephora haul because maybe that might motivate me to do some sephora shopping hey eh? But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, don't forget to subscribe down below and leave me a comment letting me know what you think. What was your favorite product that I hauled and what are you most excited to see in action from this haul? Um, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat for more of my daily life. They all be in, listed in my description box and I may even put them on the screen somewhere around here in the editing world. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all are having an amazing week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.